Welcome back to 242 Math. I'm Hughes Raphael Thompson, and today we are looking at grades 11 and 12 BGCSE. Here we go, question one. The functions f and g are defined as follows f of x is equal to x squared minus 1, g of x is 2x plus 1. Calculate the value of f g of x. That's a composite function. Remember, for BGCSE exams, you can use your calculator. You should be finishing up question one. Question two. Ray earns $43,824 a year. A holiday weekly loading of 17.5% of four weeks regular pay is applied to it. Calculate his total pay for four weeks leave. Your calculate is needed for this. And we move on to question three. The diagram shows parallelogram ABCD. T is the midpoint of vector DA. Vector DT is equal to C and vector DC is equal to V. Find vector DB in terms of V and or C. Question 4. A boat sails from Cape Elutra C on a bearing of 90 degrees for X kilometers. It then changes course on a bearing of 180 degrees for 20 kilometers to a point P. If P is 25 kilometers from C, calculate the distance of C from A. You will need to use your calculator here again. You should be finishing up question four. Question five. Given that x is an integer, find the solution set of x for the inequality five minus a half x is less than four. Should be finishing up question five. Question six. Use the following Venn diagram to find N in parentheses, com complement of P in the section, the complement of R. Question 7. The graph shows the cumulative frequency curve for the marks of 40 candidates from the island of Eleuthera on a national examination. From the graph, calculate A, the median, B, the upper and lower quartiles. We move on to question eight. A deck of 20 cards is made up of pictures of the following animals, crab, flamingo, crawfish, sheep, and lionfish. One card is drawn from the set of 20 cards and is replaced before another card is drawn. Complete the tree diagram. Should be finishing up question eight. Question nine. AB is a tangent to the circle CDE center F at C. Calculate the value of X, Y, and Z.
You should be finishing up question nine. And the final question is question 10. The pie chart shows what happens to $120 of Paige's weekly income. Use it to find the amount of money Paige spent on lunch. Should be wrapping up question 10 and here we go answers question one we have the functions a composite function so let's see what you have to do here yes g of x is 2x plus 1 so substitute that into f of x so it's 2x plus 1 squared minus 1 and you get 4x squared plus 4x or 4 in parentheses for 4, 4x outside x plus 1 on the inside question two you have to figure out what is salary is for four weeks first so you divide it by 52, then multiply it by 4, you get $3,271.08, and then 17.5% of that, $3,961.02. You needed your calculator for that one. Question 3. Okay, let's put in the vector DB, and let's put in AT, which is C, and let's put in AB, which is V. Then we go from tail to head so that's 2c and that's v 2c plus v question four okay it's a bearings question on bearings and you have to use pythagoras theorem so x squared is equal to 25 squared minus 20 squared and x squared will be equal to square root of 225 15 kilometers question five Let's work it like you'd work an equation. So you get minus half x is less than negative 1. Multiply by negative 2, so x is greater than 2. Final answer. Question 6. What's not in P is 3719. What's not in R, the complement is what's not in it is 2419 what's common the numbers in green so the number for that intersection would be 19 intersection mean what's common so it's 19. question seven you have to draw across from 20 and down and that's 62 then draw from 30 that's the upper quadrant and down that's 69 then draw from 10 down the lower quartile is 51. Question 8. Now you have to reduce your fractions, then multiply to give you the numbers at the back. 1, 25th, 4, 25th, 4, 25th, 16, 25th. When you add them up, you must get 25 or 25 or 1. That would help you to make sure you have the right fractions. But you have to reduce them first, then multiply. You multiply to get the, num the fraction at the back. Okay, question 9. And X is 92 because it's double 46. Y is 44, base angles in that isosceles triangle. And then Z, we know that's a 90 degree angle there. So it's 90 minus 44, 40, 46 for Z. Question 10, the pie chart shows $120 of page weekly income. So let's add up all the degrees. You get 315, 360 minus 315 is 45 degrees. 45 over 369 is 120, so that's $15. Thank you all for watching. Please share me out. And if you didn't understand, just go back over so you can be prepared for the national examination. I want you to get an A. So please watch and learn. I will see you in the next one, God willing. That's a wrap.